This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news, all right? So we're talking about Kendrick Lamar. Uh, he has some beef on his label. Uh, not from Top Dog, the CEO. He, he understands what's going on. This has been in motion for a year. We heard rumors about this a year ago, about him leaving Top Dog uh, Entertainment and moving on. He wanted to focus on his own label. Now, an artist on there, Isaiah Rashad, right? He says, everybody emotional, you not that special, quit embarrassing us. The same day Kendrick drops his uh, letter. You can't even tell me that that is uh, coincidental that, oh, he was talking about somebody else. Nah, that was a big day where Kendrick announced that he's leaving. Now, Kendrick Lamar is into collecting beach cruisers now, but really what Kendrick Lamar is into, let's just, let's just be honest here, okay? Now, Top Dog, they came to peace with this. They're cool. They would rather be friends. They built something amazing together, right? Just like the Migos and CEO P built something amazing together at QC, you know, with, with Coach K, you know? So you got to kind of respect that relationship because it set the path for School by Q. Isaiah Rashad, or whatever his name is. Isaiah Rashad, I'm not, I'm, into, I'm not into everybody at TD. I like Schoolboy Q. I like Kendrick Lamar. I like J-Rock. Okay. My favorite part of the letter, the third paragraph, where he was extremely brand updated in his new life. You know, this is what people were saying. He's into collecting old bikes and ignoring his phone for months at a time. Well, you know, he's very completely into the art, but how is he going to run his own label? You know? Um, then he kind of like teases an album, right? Now, if you're super, I, I like Kendrick Lamar. Am I a Kendrick Lamar, a Lamar stan? No. Do I enjoy his music? Absolutely. You know, I do. But it's like, you know, it's too much artsy, artsy, you know, stuff. But he says, uh, so Oklahoma era has begun. This is like his title of this website. Maybe that's the name of his album. I don't know. Uh, uh, maybe for some reason it resembles Oklahoma, which is... Uh, Oh, it says it's a, there's a small town called Kendrick there. I don't know. New alter ego. Everyone's trying to like interpret everything. that, And I'm sure he loves this, right? <laughs> but what do you take from this? He's definitely focusing on that new label, PG Lang, whatever that means. Okay. Uh, he's been talking about this. March 2020, he announced the launch of PG Lang, which is a platform building stories, engaging with audiences. I haven't heard anything about this thing since, okay? The company's mission statement is new purpose at PG Ling embodies something deeply personal. What? It, what? What does that mean? Is that service to creators and projects that self selflessly speak with and for shared experiences that connect us all? This is like a spooky, spooky company. <laughs> All I could say is that he's probably focused on moving on. Maybe he'll go independent. You know, uh, maybe he doesn't want the pressures of the whole label, like uplifting the whole label, even though it's there and it's set in stone. He is the guy. He's the negotiating chip, you know? Top Dog gave him a great send-off. He says, we'll support him no matter what. It's a victory lap. We, 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 we conquered what we came out for. But it doesn't seem like his label mates feel so good about this. You know, they feel abandoned. Why does Kendrick Lamar, like, J-Rock's the first artist there. Then you got Kendrick, right? But, you know, how do you save that whole thing over there? I don't know. You know, SZA's always having problems. I don't know. Top Dog did an amazing thing. He put these guys on. He believed in them. He put money behind them. And, you know, what can he ask for more than that? You know, and then Kendrick Lamar go off and he'll employ other people. I mean, it's a good cycle, you know. I'm just saying there's something else deeper going on there. If other label mates are talking spicy, you know. <laughs> this is Jordan Tao with JT News. Let me know what you guys think about this because it is a little, it's a little weird. But, uh, hey, you know, I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.